For our own internal production, we have a large spreadsheet where we do not only um, keep track of all the products, but also the individual boards. And we have basically transferred the bill of materials from Eagle over into this spreadsheet. The, the advantage of that spreadsheet is that we are linking to places you can buy the individual components. Why is that? Because the particular dip switch on a BI-8 board, like that one, it has to have a specific uh, package. It's called a package, the, the physical layout of, of, the, of the switch. The same goes for the ICs. So this one, for instance, it, it's found in, in a large package and in a smaller package. So you, in order to buy the right components in the right size, we have uh, made this spreadsheet for you. Instead of maintaining individual bill of materials for the products, we have put it into the spreadsheet. So we want to teach you how to use it. And um, I'm going to go back to my folder with the Scorehoy Open Engineering right here. We have placed the spreadsheet inside the folder, I think, uh, BOM for Bill of Materials. And there you find an open office version and also an Excel version. I am, of course, going with the open office version because we are open source guys. So this is a spreadsheet. Now, uh, let's, let's take a look what is um, over here in, 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 uh, in these columns. We have all the different components listed. So if we scroll down, you see the, um, the, the first one here is special. It's called internal products. And I'll explain that in a moment. But if we get down to here, you can see here we have printed circuit boards. Then we have some stuff from the company called RS Components. You have the RS component number right here. Then we have put in a link to the particular component and you can press the link right there. This is where the link is active. So what is this particular thing? It's the Arduino Mega. We have the Ethernet shield, we have an Arduino Ethernet. Then you can see we go on to capacitors right here, which are surface mounted capacitors, through hole capacitors, etc. So this is how this whole list is working. This section is mainly for RS component, um, um, components. And then you get a little further down. You can see that we do some business with electrozone.dk because we are located in Denmark but they are basically reselling stuff from a company called SparkFun in the United States. And they have some very nice displays that we like to use. Then we have Farnell, which are like IS components selling ele electronics. We have something called front design um, enclosures, and these are made by Schäfer AG in uh, Germany. So um, it's just listed that we need enclosures for our devices. Some other companies no matter where these companies are, we are providing links. So you always have a chance to click this link to see where you can buy the particular thing. And uh, why not um, click one of these links? So let's take one of the RS links, uh, the Arduino Mega. So I just click here. It will open in the web browser. And there you have it, Arduino Mega. I want to buy one. Boom, it's in your shopping list right there. And you're basically going to do the same for, for all the components you need. Now, the question is, how do you know which components you need for any of these things? And this is what I'm going to explain you now. There are two sections in, in, the, um, in the columns. And uh, the first section you find in the spreadsheet is our composite designs. So composite designs, they are complete units. And it's kind of obvious, I think, from the title that we have given this column or the titles for each uh, column. We have the C10, we have a C30, we have what it takes to add the T-bar option to the C30, we have C51. What do you uh, need to do if, uh, oh, you have the C101, if you want the C101 with a T-bar and a display, then you need additional things. Um, sometimes there are things you don't need, like in the case with the T-bar, you may not need the slider. Uh, the linear slider uh, circuit board. Okay, so um, let's take the C201, the desktop controller that we are going to put together today. And um, the C201, uh, it tells us that it needs two of something, one of something, one of something, and one of something there. And we can now scroll down and whoops, there are one of something more. 
the way you display this in a spreadsheet like this is you use the split function and that will help you enormously to keep track of all this stuff because then whoops voila you can see that ha huh. okay so we need two of what we need two bi8 boards called one times eight slim without buttons we need one bi8 board special edition c201 we need one linear slider board we need one rotary encoder board one tiny breakout board for a display and um, the reason why these are called internal products is that these are referring to a completely assembled board like for instance this one and this is what we are gonna put together on these videos I'm not showing you how to solder this because now I have shown you how to find the, the, the schematics for it I've shown you how to find w what components to put on it and the rest is sort of just soldering in the right way. We are going to provide you a separate video instructions for that. But I I've explained the principles. So this is an internal product. This is a BI-8 Special Edition C201 because this will fit right there on this particular product. So this is what these, these components are in, in, in this section. And as we scroll down, we can see where else we have some, some ones. And you can see that these ones here is, they are referring to an Arduino Mega. We need an Ethernet shield and we need a power supply. And what more? Whoops, we need what? We need some flat cable. And we need some screws. Four of those, I wonder what they are for, and it doesn't tell me, but, but I trust that we need that. Then we need some, some displays from ElectroZone or SparkFun. I need an enclosure, I need some cables, blah, blah, blah. Ha, huh. okay, I also need some switches. So these are the switches that we need for the BI-8 boards. And if I, if I click there, for instance, then it will take us to the page where you can see how to buy one of these very nice NKK uh, broadcast type buttons. Okay. I'm going to go back to the top because in the top we saw that <clears throat> for a C201 we need these internal products and this is what I have sort of lined up here that we have now one of these. We have uh, two of the slim boards over here um, then you can see that since we are also going with the, um, the option T-bar, we are going with the extra keys option and we are going with the smart switches option, then you can sort of um, imagine that we need additional boards. For instance, for the smart switch, we also need a smart switch board with uh, two buttons on. For the extra keys, we need an additional BI-8 1x8 slim button. So now we are up to, to three here. And you can see if, if we are going with the T-bar option, then in fact we are going to subtract one of the linear, linear slider boards because instead of a linear slider we are going to use a T-bar and for T-bar we need a tiny breakout board for a T-bar. So this is how um, the, the spreadsheet tells us this. But what goes actually on this particular one? And we are also going to help you with that because you are not only, um, you, you can actually get the same kind of help from this spreadsheet and not only the eagle files. So let's, let's uh, go a little further out in this spreadsheet and you'll see that we can get to a point where, we, where it says internal products, whoops. And here you have the internal products like BI8 1 times 8 slim. And guess what? If you scroll down, you can see for one of these guys, you need the circuit board, you need some capacitors, 100 nanofarad, you need a 10 microfarad capacitor, you need some 270 ohm resistors, and the particular resistor is a um, 0603, that's, that's the size of the resistor for surface mount, and we have a link to the resistor right there, so again you can go to ours online you can buy the resistor, yes, buy me 50 of those, and uh, there you go. This is, this is how it's working. 
In this way, you can now access all the information that we are using to produce these things. You know where you can buy the things, you just need to add everything up and order it. And that's a process in itself.